Well, hello, good morning, and uh, welcome to an episode of Camilla and I. I'm Mark Cooper, and today we're carrying on at Frigsby Ring in order to carry on photographing the summer blues. And uh, as you can see by this sign here, we're adjacent to MOD property. So uh, the red flag is actually flying at the moment, although you couldn't see it because at the moment it's a bit of a pea super. It's first thing in the morning and the mist is definitely rolled in. Yeah, so just to prove on Camilla and I, it's not always sunshine. Um, we do try and pick the days when the uh, sun comes out though for butterfly photography, which is quite important. And also to pick quiet and still days. The wind speed's more important than the actual uh, weather conditions. Although I wouldn't even bother going out for butterflies in the rain. I've, I've tried. <laughs> I've been there for you. Don't bother. Um, they hide underneath the um, flora and fauna and they are very difficult to spot. They are there, but they creep right down into the vegetation. Useless for photography. So just like Clearbury Down, where we uh, successfully found the Chalk Hill Blue, I did indeed scout the area out last night. And um, Frigsby Ring is an old Roman hill fort. So uh, it does literally go in a circular ring. So uh, I know where the butterflies are going to be. I've been coming here for years, um, but I do still suggest if you uh, are new to the area that uh, you do take time to find the butterflies because I have got one for example just here an Adonis blue and I've got one up there an Adonis blue and I also know there's a common blue just around here as well so um, yeah it does pay to scout your area out otherwise you could waste an awful lot of time and get nowhere photographing the blues. Well while we're waiting for the uh, sun to uh, come up so far the forecast is um, totally incorrect. Anyway a bit of advanced technique the use of the Wimberley clamp um, which um, not obtainable from Castle Cameras my chosen supplier. This one did actually come from Wex Photographic Supplies another superb supplier but um, I say we tend to stick to the small independent supplier but um, anyway when you can um, a Wimberley clamp wow what a device what earth to use that for um, good point so I shall demonstrate the use of a Wimberley clamp and um, I could do it actually on the butterfly but it is a bit awkward to uh, actually do and I might disturb the butterfly and I only use it when conditions are a bit like this actually the wind's just picking up just enough so uh, yeah this is good conditions to use the Wimbley clamp now the Wimbley clamp comes with this oh, let's get, bring you a bit closer bring you a bit closer 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 so the Wimberley clamp um, consists of a clamp <laughs> and another clamp on an artic articulated arm and uh, you can get the short version or you can get the extension tube this one's got the extension on it um, needless to say for extra reach anyway you could clamp this off to your tripod and um, yeah that works but there's a problem with that when you're moving the camera the tripod wobbles as well so this is where we actually deploy the pen knife so we actually get the pen knife and we stick it close to our subject so we're going to say there's a uh, lovely Adonis blue on there and it may well appear later on but we'll be lucky so what I do is clamp that end of the clamp onto the pen knife and this clamp secures 
using these jaws here, which are very soft and I've got a little padded thing in there for delicate flowers. And I clamp the flower off. Comps up. Now that is locked in position. Now, yeah, there's still, I think it was 10 mile an hour wind speeds this morning and 15 mile an hour gusts. So that will still move, but it's a damn sight stiller than it was before. And now I can rock in and out and take the photograph accordingly with a relatively still subject. So uh, we may be deploying this this morning, but that's advanced technique for butterfly photography. And indeed, you don't need to go to the expense of Wembley clamp. Hmm, why not make your own in true Blue Peter style? Um, I'm sure there are plenty of other things you could do to make something similar than that. I think it was about £60, this uh, Wembley clamp. A very good investment if you're serious about your butterfly photography. OK. Oh, take the lens cap off, that always helps. Okay. Yeah, so we're uh, in on the subject here. The um, Adonis Blue. And um, just snapping into manual. See what we can get. And the butterflies wobbling around all over the place. Um, so we're going to have to uh, deploy the Wembley clamp. Of course, there's a real problem with deploying the Wembley clamp. The butterfly can fly off. So hopefully you can see that. Ooh. I think we got away with that one. I think I could safely say this morning, without the Wembley clamp in position, I could not take photographs of this butterfly. Um, it would be moving far too much. I'll just get a few video and shots while it's clamped in place before the uh, sun rises. Um, still no sign of the sun, so no rush. Uh. Yeah, some lovely little video there. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's a good example of the Adonis Blue. They actually have two seasons, the Adonis Blue. I think it's um, May, June, uh, July, August. But uh, yeah, check with the book. So um, yeah, they're actually um, usually in a good year. There are two, uh, two broods. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, so as well as that, uh, the Adonis blue, we've also got a common blue, which is uh, on a slightly more stable bit of uh, seed head. So uh, we'll see if we can uh, just get in here and uh, get something nice. Okay. Yeah, so a lovely common blue just to uh, throw into the mix. Absolutely saturated in dew. Incredible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, again, looks like a nice specimen, um, but you really don't know until those wings open up. Anyway, while we're around this side, I'll also photograph this side of the Adonis Blue as well. The sun should be coming up behind me um, from that direction. Okay. Of course, the problem you have now is the uh, Wimberley clamp gets in the way, which is a bit of a bore. So, uh, yeah, you can't, uh, there are disadvantages to using the Wembley clamp. Even though despite the uh, flower is, um, flower is um, completely clamped off the stem, the head is still moving and um, obviously you need quite a high shutter speed. 
So I'm on uh, at least one five hundredth of a second, probably a thousandth of a second. Yeah. F2.8, ISO 800. Yeah, so I've had enough of this subject here now. So I'm going to slowly release the Wimberley clamp so that uh, I don't disturb it. Slide that off there and there we are. Happy as a sandbag, still stuck on the flower. Awesome. Yeah, so I found another subject just further up the bank and uh, yeah, another one covered in dew again. Absolutely incredible. It's lovely. Anyway, again, I'll uh, see if I can get a bit of video for you. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so we've moved down the path just a little way and uh, needless to say, once you get your eye in, um, although they're incredibly difficult to spot, and uh, when I first came here as a uh, child, um, indeed we just walked around the ring, I don't think I ever saw one, um, partly because, well, just weren't looking for them. But um, no, once you get your eye in, it is possible to see them, but they are the size of your thumbnail. I'll put my thumbnail next to one in a minute just to demonstrate but uh, yeah they are incredibly small. Um, when the wings open and they show this iridescent blue, the Adonis blue, is a dead giveaway and indeed most of the blues are quite easy to spot in flight and uh, in the sunshine. But like everything else in wildlife even a kingfisher, some people find difficult to spot. Well, I think I've just discovered a marvellous little trio. I think I've got a chalk hill blue, a common blue, and an Adonis blue down here. Anyway, oh, exciting. I'll get a bit of video. Perhaps you can identify them for me. Um, this one. Here's one. That's number one. Number two is deep in the grass. And number three is over here. Awesome. Yeah, someone told me the other day the chalk hill blue is at Figsby Ring. I must admit, I haven't seen it here before, but apparently they do hop over the fence every now and then. Yeah, so the uh, Adonis Blue has a uh, symbiotic existence with the ant. And um, yeah, it's quite a unique lifestyle. Basically the butterfly then turns into a chrysalis and the ants drag it off to their ant hill, bury it underground, and um, the larvae, the actual chrysalis, secretes slight little bits of sugars and nutrients which the ants feed off during the winter. An amazing relationship that they know to drag this into their home and then uh, sort of use it as food. But they keep it alive and uh, then it emerges yet again. Two broods a year, potentially. Obviously not the same butterfly, but uh, anyway, that's why we're here. So don't forget, just as in the uh, earlier episode of Consider the Blues, Butterfly Photography. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. But just as in that video, you still got to respect the uh, flora and fauna that the uh, butterflies inhabit in particular. I mean, on Camilla and I, we like taking it easy. We do, uh, we do it easy. And indeed, just off the path again, you don't have to go miles. Um, here's Chalk Hill Blue, and here's the Common Blue. And um, the Adonis Blue is just down there in the grass in the middle of them. 
So you don't have to go far, you don't have to trample over everything. And indeed, when we've got access, we use the access available. And uh, that's why we particularly like Figsby Ring, because it is uh, complete access and um, you're not disturbing anything. I mean, dog walkers, dogs, children, plough through this regularly, uh, particularly at the weekends. And um, so you're not doing any particular harm to the butterflies being in this location. So uh, yeah, just remember, it's their home, not yours. <coughs> well, thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I. And uh, that's it for Photographing the Blues. Hope you've enjoyed the series. If you haven't seen all the programs, go back and uh, see the first two. Um, consider the Blues photography. Get out there, chase the Blues. Have a good one. Bye from Camilla and I. <laughs>